there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Teacher Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Today, we are playing Marvel Heroes Omega. Of course, there's been a big update for Marvel Heroes Omega. There's a big event on. You can tell just by looking at those scary, angry faces right over there. There is actually a whole new story involving, well, not a huge story, an event and a operation involving Apocalypse's Four Horsemen. And this is actually a weird iteration of the Four Horsemen. Um, I've never seen Jean Grey... Storm, Magic, and Psylocke as the Horsemen of Apocalypse. I never, I don't, don't think I've ever seen that combination. But um, thumbs up. After the Mighty Woman of Marvel costumes, I would, I'm happy to see some of the most badass ladies of the Marvel universe in more badass costumes, all threatening and destructive in some way, shape, or form. So what we're going to do is see if we can hit upon some luck with the crates, and if we can get as many of these four amazing costumes for these girls as possible. If we can't, we may have to buy them, but uh, because there's a like, very specific effects for the characters and their new Omega forms, which is like that's the, the four characters there. Actually, part of the the, the Horsemen of Apocalypse. All four of those characters have now had their Omega Prestige unlocked, same as um, Spider Man. So we now have five characters that are going to Omega Prestige. And to be honest, out of them, Magic's probably my mo the one I'm most interested in. So I've already had her maxed out to sixty. The only character out of those four that I don't have. Uh, maxed out is uh, Storm actually, and even then I actually had, I played Storm during the beta, and that's the only reason why I didn't play as her in this. So right, we're up to patch notes one point four. Take a quick look just to see. Apocalypse Awakens. Uh, there's a side story with Mister Sinister and the Clan Akaba who want to raise Apocalypse. So they actually have a uh, brought those four girls together and actually made them their um, new horsemen, the four horsemen of Apocalypse. You know them: War, Bamin, Esslins, uh, Death. That's the other one. <laughs> Uh, what they do though is actually they've decided to put all these things inside boxes and now we're going to steal these boxes and probably have someone inside them. So there's a Age of Apocalypse costumes for a number of new characters, or not a number of new characters, a number of characters. Kitty Pride, Nightcrawler, Iceman, Colossus, Jean Grey, and then there's the four Horsemen costumes as well, Jean Grey, Storm, Dialogue, and Magic. That's a, not a massive list of costumes to be getting, but there's a lot of, uh, for me, there's actually a lot that I don't have. The only one I do have is Kitty Pride. And I'm really excited to play these because Age of Apocalypse Colossus is going to be awesome because it's uh, with the bandana around his head that um, him and Kitty have in the Gen X story, which is one of my favorite parts of the entirety of the Age of Apocalypse. That that Generation Next story was fucking tragic. If you've never read it before, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, Iceman looked awesome in Age of Apocalypse as well, but um, I, I'm looking forward to trying. I'm looking forward to get. I'm looking. I want those costumes really, 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 really bad. But um, we'll have to see what we can get to get them. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong thing altogether. And we also have an update to the normal loot boxes as well, which we'll be doing in a separate video because um, I just don't have the time to go through and do 50 boxes back to back tonight. So I don't have the credits either, so I'm going to have to actually reach out to the to the rapid gazillion to see if they can help me out here. But uh, yeah, we're going to do 25 Apocalypse loot boxes. So start with the first five. Buying it. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five! <laughs> oh, God. Right. We got 25 boxes to open. Let's see what we got in store for ourselves. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> the, uh, the problem is with these boxes is that they, they, every single time I do one of these, um, I get anxious because I don't like spending the money. I don't like spending the points on them in the first place. It's a, it, there's a part inside of, inside of me that just does not enjoy the concept of paying for loot boxes, but because it's actually do donated credits to me to do so, like I don't pay for the G's, the company gives them to me to use, and at least then I can show you guys what the drop rates are, like for any normal person, then like there's none affecting me in any way, shape or form that actually increases my drop rates, so hopefully we'll actually get a good, good drop on this, I'm going to just turn this up a little bit so I get the nice bang, so opening up these wonderful new Age of the Apocalypse at number 25. Poor Marvelous Essence, a shitty as fuck credit chest. Oh, actually, not so, well, 5,000 is still shitty. An experience boost. A 20 relics of Wakanda. A overflowing credit chest with 100,000 credits. Happy days. And a Nightcrawler Age of Apocalypse costume. Yes, yes, yes. I actually like this. I'm happy. I'm delighted to actually have the uh, Nightcrawler costume. The Nightcrawler story in Age of Apocalypse was actually a really good one. Um, it was him and his mother getting together to actually rescue... Um, somebody, wasn't it, was a bishop possibly that he had to go and rescue? And it was actually, it was interesting, a little kind of like, uh, teal, uh, for a man with a teal. <laughs> but 
But um, the swashbuckling, kind of like lighthearted Nightcrawler was very, very dark in this series. Um, so I actually appreciate and enjoy this costume. I'm going to look forward to playing with him, even though Nightcrawler is not my flavor of the month, if you saw in my 1 to 60 levels uh, video. But I still I, 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 this will actually get me back playing with him just because I actually like the Edge of Apocalypse so much. On to the next cra- So we got one for one. One for one on the on the costume so far. Let's see what else we got. For Marvel Assassins, high-tech fabric, enhanced genome, a combination boost, the Jean Grey show-off. Oh, right, so these emotes are now actually going to be individually inside these boxes? I'm not too sure about this cosmetics tab. I thought it was actually like you picked one from a range of ones that you already had. You need to add these in. Mmm, mmm, I don't know. I'm not too sure about this. And an ultimate power upgrade for any one person. That is a generic one, so it actually be used on anybody. But I, I, I like these generic ones instead because they're used on any character you need, rather than actually having these ones that you open up and then they're just set to a character you might not even have or up to level 60. But uh, that, 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 that was an amazing crate. That wasn't an amazing crate. But um, I'm, I'm glad I now know about this, the actual like uh, cosmetics tab actually showing up inside the crates. Don't know, what, where, where else were they going to drop from? Are they only available in the crates? Is that why it's actually, like, coloured yellow? Because it's a rare as fuck item? It's an emote. I don't think emote should actually be inside these, but we'll see. Uh, so one, f one for two. That's what we're actually at at the moment. Four Marvel's Essence, high-tech fabric, a loaded credit chest. Eh, not too bad, but not the great ones. It's actually pretty shit. Uh, ten legendary marks, ten legendary marks, and fifty Marvel's Essence. Alright, so... Hmm, that is... Yeah, I'm just making sure they haven't changed the crates of Marvelous Essence. That is a 50... That, so that was just a box that had 54 Marvelous Essence in it. it 54 Marvelous Essence is good monies. Um, it, like, if you're buy, if you're doing this for the costumes, then... Shit, that's halfway to a costume already. Well, not an enhanced one, but at least to a main a, a mainline one. I think it's what... I can't remember now. I can't remember what the price of the costume are. We'll take a look at it afterwards. But, um, yeah. 54 Marvelous Essence in a box. Not the worst case scenario. Uh, but otherwise, not a great crate. Four Marvelous Essence, Star Lord Flourish, and Experience Boost. Ten Marvelous, uh, or ten Legendary Marks, and two more Experience Boosts. Three Experience Boosts, what? And another Nightcrawler Age of Apocalypse costume. So this one is the cloaked version of the exact same character. So we had cloaked and uncloaked. So we got the uncloaked one first, and now we have the cloaked one. I'm not too sure if I like the cloak so much. Um, I like the costume. I actually like the pointy shoulders and red and black. But the cloak, I'm not too sure about. Especially because I kind of remember it being very tattered and stuff in the... Because he was more of a rapscallion kind of rogue pirate thing. Rather than actually being like, I am Magneto, but I am fuzzy and blue. But that's not the case uh, with the costume. It, it, that's what it looks like. It, that looks like a Magneto costume, not a Nightcrawler costume. But well, at least we can see capes. Capes flowing in the wind. That's always good animation. Uh, so two costumes for four. That's actually not too bad. We're, 50, we're at a 50% rate at four costumes in. It's like That's not too goddamn bad at all. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, and Stable Molecules. Ten Legendary Marks, twenty Relics of Asgard, and an overflowing credit chest. This is, I, sorry, that's two credit chests that are actually overflowing ones. I'm trying to level up my uh, engineering department by buying the schematics and actually like spend them, and it's like 40,000 credits per one. A couple of these crates I'm actually happy to be having right now because I am trying to push those levels up to get it to level 20 so I can do my Omega boxes. But, um, yeah, still, credit chests aren't brilliant, but uh, 100,000 ones, I, I, I'm okay with those. They're, they're a little bit more viable. Um, also for materials, if you're actually buying stuff for, the, for crafting. Territory Splinters, or Marvelous Essence, Nanotech Filament. A duplicate costume bonus essence of 15. So they're very, very precise now to say it is for a duplicate costume bonus essence. So either this one's for Kitty Pride or for Nightcrawler. That's the only two costumes that I actually have out of this pack. So it's like Kitty Pride's Age of Apocalypse and the two Nightcrawler costumes are the only ones I actually own. <laughs> well, obviously, we ran into some one of them. Uh, Random Hero Ultimate Gift. And 300 Legendary Marks? Jesus! Alright, so that's actually a pretty big fucking drop inside a crate. 300 Legendary Marks? That, that is one legendary... Let's put one piece of legendary equipment right, like, in a box. Shit, okay. Um, can't really... I'm not too perturbed by that. Ten Marvelous Essence, four Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, shield supply boost, shield supply boost, and Nice Man, Age of Apocalypse costume. Freezy good, freezy good, oh, he's gonna freeze you good. Freezy good, freezy good, oh, he's gonna freeze you good. 
Yes, uh, Age of Apocalypse, Bobby Drake is a pretty bad, he's a fucking badass of a character. He's literally, literally, he's just a living ice, that's all he is. There really is no characterization to him in the book. I, I can't remember if he actually spoke at all in the actual comic series. In the Age of Apocalypse series, I don't think he actually spoke that much. I think he just, like, Bobby went quiet. And that's, like, that's whenever you know shit has hit the fan, Bobby went quiet. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Iceman Age of Apocalypse costume, happy with that. That's three out of the nine costumes so far. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to start seeing a lot more 15s because we already saw one so far. So we've had one, two, three, four costume drops. Oh man. Four costume drops already. And we're only, what, six boxes in? This this is actually, this is these are these, the, the rates in these are not too bad. Especially for these ones that I'm sure a lot of people already have, would probably already have Iceman and Kitty Pride. But the Nightcrawler ones, get them immediately. It's a good drop. Um, but yes, shield supply boosts, uh, minor experience boosts, and a stack of 15, 14 Marvelous Essence. That's actually a, that was a pretty damn good crate. Four Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Deadpool. An experience boost, another two experience boosts, three experience boosts. Uh, random Hero Ultimate Gift, and 50 Legendary Marks. Alright, so the random hero ultimate gift is actually the worst thing in here. Because it's one small experience boost for Deadpool, because I already have him maxed out anyway. But uh, we're not going to be prestiging him anytime soon. Uh, experience boost, experience boost, experience boost, and 50 marvelous, uh, fifty legendary marks. Eh, I'm, uh, I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not, I can't feel upset. I mean, I'm not building upset into this all, because I haven't seen a single thing I hate yet. And the crates are not uh, upsetting me so far. Or Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token. An experience boost, unstable, 10 unstable molecules, another 10 unstable molecules. And 50 relics of Xandar. Fucking hell. Like, these are, there's a lot of big stacks in this one, man. Are they, are the percentages up because of this opening night, maybe? I don't know. But, um, ah, downtime, that seems pretty impressive. Uh, so, Red well. Xandar's always welcome. Uh, unstable molecules, don't really use them that much because I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not crafting enough yet. Experience boost, small character experience token, and four Marvelous Essence. <laughs> Four Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, a loaded credit chest, not the biggest ones, not the smallest ones, but it's somewhere in between. Uh, shield supply boost, 10 unstable molecules, and a duplicate bonus chest for 30. So I've got a feeling this is one of the Nightcrawler costumes. So it, the first one we got was Kitty Pride. This has to be one of the Nightcrawlers because it being um, a duplicate and slightly higher than a regular costume. So I think Iceman and Kitty are the trash tier costumes. Uh, Nightcrawlers, the mid Nightcrawlers and Jean Grey's... Uh, Apoc not her, her Age of Apocalypse costume, but not her, um, the event costume, are actually the mid-tier, and then on the top tier is the four girls costumes, which are actually all enhanced versions. So, uh, for this one particularly, I'm pretty sure it must be one of the two Nightcrawlers. Uh, so that's, wow, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six so far. Six and ten. Sixty percent drop rate of costumes. All right. Let's see, let's keep the ratio going. Let's keep it up that high, that'd be nice to see. It was six and 10. 10 Marvelous Essence, four Marvelous Essence, a buggery shit treaded chest, a 10 unstable molecules, a magic cheer. Hey, great. <laughs> more, more emotes, second emote of the, so, and the emotes are actually rarer than the costumes in these crates now. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You tell me. Uh, have put in the cosmetic so the whole point is you should have cosmetics in here that's cosmetics should be filling the crates but rather than actually like vendor trash that you can buy with uh, credits in the game um cheers and stuff i'm not too sure if that's actually a great thing so 50 legendary marks i think a decent amount of legendary marks as well but yeah these um these emotes uh, it means I've, it means i've got a couple of new emotes to play with my characters which is good um hopefully that actually can means that we can, uh, people will interact a little bit more communicate with the other players but mostly it's going to be just people standing in the hubs just going, ah, 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 over and over again, instead of actually revving their machine, their uh, their motorcycles. So yeah, uh, emotes, not a fan of, not a fan so far. Especially if they're going to be taking up another slot inside a box. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, an experience boost, ten unstable molecules, and twenty-five Eternity Splinters. Um, not a great crate, but uh, not bad. Uh, Eternity Splinters are useful if you're buying new characters and stuff, and if you, or if you're buying your Omega Prestige, uh, recipe to actually be able to do it with your engineer but um experience boost most useful thing inside that and um yeah not great <laughs> that was actually probably the, this is probably that was the weakest crate so far four marvelous essence a credit chest worth buggery shit all uh 10 relics of atlantis 10 legendary marks a duplicate costume of 15 so either an Iceman or a kitty pride 
So that is seven costumes and 18. Uh, our ratios are dropping down there, mate. Uh, that's not a good line. And another 50 relics of Atlantis. Jesus. All right, so 60 relics of Atlantis in a single crate. Um, uh, that was dis disappointing, but there was another costume in it, uh, even if it is one of the vendor the vendor trash costumes, which we, if you've are been playing this as much as I have, you're probably going to ha already have. Especially the fact, like, I love Kitty Pride's costume, so I was going like, I saw that when, bye! First time I had, the, as literally, as, this is whenever I had the Attorney Splinters to buy it myself, I was like, just buying that, I need, like that, just, just give me, just, just give me that costume, I want that one. She was one of the first characters I maxed out as well. I, lo I love her Shadow Walk. Uh, so, Ralph Atlantis, 60 in one box, and a duplicate costume. Or Marvelous Essence, a credit chest for 5,000 that can go eat my ass. Nothing, I like, it costs more than 5,000 credits to eat my ass. Like, it doesn't even afford that. Uh, now attack filament, a random hero ultimate gift, 25 Eternity Splinters, and 50 Relics of Atlantis. So there's a new Relic of Atlantis. Like the 60 in the last one, 50 in this one. Boom! Happy days! Uh, that was a nice amount of stuff, but the, um, I always like getting new uh, relics to play with and put on new characters. I need one for every character, essentially, you now at this point. Uh, so build them up. I don't know who. I don't know who. I'll put the Atlantis. What's the Atlantis? It's Deflect. Deflect and Dodge. Deflect and Dodge. Maybe one of the Sp Spidey or Venom or something like that. Probably fast, anyway. Um, no, no one else that actually have more remarked in that. We'll open that up after the videos, but um, see if there is anything worthwhile in the Ultimate Tokens. Four Marvel Essence, Mechanical Components, a loaded credit chest of 10,000, a Matrix of Unbinding! First Matrix of the crates in 15. One in 15. Shit. I Fuck Matrix of Unbinding. It's just like, that. that's actually, that, I'm just surprised, I'm so fucking happy that it was so rare to get one now. Like, what, one in 15? That's actually a great rate for these fucking things. I hate them. I, well, I've got a stack of them that I'm never going to use. I know people have said in the comments how useful they are, but they're they're my bugbear. They're the one thing I don't think should be in the crates at fucking all. Um, a beast cheer. Oh, a che oh, sorry, we actually get cheers for characters that aren't part of the Age of Apocalypse thing in this. I've got one for beast. And the Jean Grey Apocalypse event exclusive! Right, so we got one of the massive enhanced costumes. That looks fucking awesome. That is a really nice costume. All right, so with Apocalypse's return imminent, his resurrection falls within the loyal hands of his newest horsemen. Though the phoenix embodies the cycle of rebirth, her sole focus under Apocalypse's augmentation is to proliferate death as her master wills it. Oh, oh, rebirth and death, all in one thing. She'll burn you, she'll bring you back, and she'll fucking burn you again. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. Dean Grey, uh, Apocalypse event costume. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, like that's a cool costume. I want to know what her Age of Apocalypse costume is. Is it her with the short hair and the, the, high, the kind of like hip high jacket and black and red? Because I am, I am actually really fucking excited. And the tattoo in her face, I really want that costume. I actually want that costume more than this costume. But yeah, Jean Grey Apocalypse costume looks really... Like, the event costume looks really good. That actually looks pretty impressive. I'm looking forward to hearing what kind of uh, emotes and stuff she has. Plus, there is very unique powers to go along with it. So we might get to play with that before I even get to prestige the character for Omega, which will do the same thing as well. But uh, yeah, that's another costume. Uh, where, where are we at? We're at 7. 7 and 20. And one of them being the, the uh, one of the four ultra-rare ones. So we've got 10 chances left. 10 chances left to get another 3, 4, 5. There's one or 5 costumes to get. 2. Aye. Right. We've got Jean, Colossus, and the 3 other event costumes. So we've got 5 and 10. If we can get 3 of those, I'll call this a success. So 3 out of the 5 that we need left in 10 boxes. We need we need this. We need this. We've had 7 drops so far, and we've had 3 duplicates. But we're, we, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Four Marvel's Essence, Heroes for Hire spray paint. Ten routes of the Gibrahim? Okay, I haven't seen those in a while, actually. I do like Gibrahim uh, ones, they're actually damn useful. Uh, ten legendary marks, twenty routes of Asgard, and twenty-five eternity splinters. Eh, I like the relics, but I don't like anything else in this box. <laughs> That's a bit shitty, but uh, twenty-five don't call me sprite, and four. Um, no, no more. No, there's no, no more things to say about that box. I'm just disappointed after getting like a really rare drop, and then getting a really shitty drop, but... 10 Marvelous Essence, 4 Marvelous Essence, Lightweight Armor Plate, Untan Unstable Molecules, 50 Legendary Marks, and a Squirrel Girl Shoe Off! I did say I don't like the emotes, but I do love Squirrel Girl. And I'm glad they actually get one for her. And what is, what, her Shoe Off's gonna be something funny. It's a, it's guaranteed to be funny, so we need to go through these and do the actual cheers and emotes and whenever get them afterwards. We might do this in another video, 
But um, yeah, we're, I've got to show off the uh, cheers and emotes that we're going to get um, through these boxes because the squirrel girl one has me intrigued. I want to know is it is she, does she just like she is she showing off or is she actually just chittering to one of her friends to uh, oh, what's the name of the goddamn squirrel her squirrel companion. But anyway, otherwise that create not brilliant. Uh, I'm I'm oversold on this because it's squirrel girl, but not not a great create. For Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Star Lord. An experience boost. Duplicate costume chest for 15, so either Iceman or Kitty Pride. So that brings it up to that brings the total up to eight costumes, but four dupes of the eight. So we're half dupes and half successes, and that's not great. Uh, random here, ultimate gift. I mean but it's random, so they're gonna have well, someone of them in there. Random here, ultimate gift. Uh, don't know who it's gonna be, but we'll find it afterwards. A Nova show off. Um see the fact that they're putting cheers in as cosmic level and the fact that the costumes are cosmic level as well i really am i'm going to be more annoyed now if these cosmetics actually end up replacing costume or like higher level costumes instead of the crates i mean i'm not happy with that but we'll see we've got what seven left seven left and we have five costumes to get seven and five let's see for Marvel's Essence, High Tech Fabric, Currency Boost, Currency Boost, uh, Random Hero Ultimate Gift, uh, Random Ultimate Power Upgrade, so we actually got whoa, one that we don't know, and one that we can use on anybody. Great combination of things to put beside each other, guys. Either have one or the other. This pisses me off. Um, 50 routes of the Gibrahim. Woo! Nor Gibrahim, pretty sure. I, mean, I think I had like about 40 previously. We had an R10 there earlier on. I think that takes me up to uh, at least 120, so we have another relic. But um, yeah, otherwise, I'm not happy with these boxes. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm desperate. I'm desperate for Colossus. I'm desperate for Jean Grey. And the, I, I'm, I'm not even that concerned about the event-specific ones. Like this. I don't care about the enhancements. I want my Colossus. And I, I, want, I want Colossus so I can actually have Colossus and find somebody else playing Kitty and actually go on a party together. Because I want that. But I want the Jean one because I think it's, I thought she looked hot as hell in the Age of Apocalypse. Her and Wolvie just hanging out together. That was a hot, she looked good in that. She looked real good. Um, yeah, sadly, it's all very tragic and dark, but she looked good. Um, Relic give her him 50. Razafrasen. <laughs> 10 Marvelous Essence, 4 Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, a large character experience token for War Machine, uh, 20 Relics of Subterranea, and a Psylocke Apocalypse Event Exclusive. So we got two, two of the four, two of the four, yes. All right, so, uh, one of the five, two of the four. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so, um, ba -ba -ba. uh, Psylocke Apocalypse event exclusive. His resurrection falls within the loyal hands of his newest horsemen. Despite all her training and discipline, Psylocke's restraint and mercy have all been erased to become the first Owen's relentless and fierce harbinger of war. <laughs> I like the costume. It's very, it is, uh, very reminiscent of her, um, Lady Mandarin costume, uh, with a big open head on it and those big blades on the shoulders. I like it. She's a Shogun motherfucker, and that is pretty cool costume. I like the hell out of that. I'm looking forward to actually playing with that costume. Um, I, if I was playing a Psylocke, I tend to play with the Lady Mandarin costume just because it's big and flowy and interesting. But um, with Psylocke, I would probably switch to this one, uh, especially with the fact that it's added skills to the character. But yeah, damn cool. Damn, damn cool. Uh, so yeah, we're, we've got five boxes left. We have four costumes to get. Five boxes left. Four costumes to get. Let's see. For Marvelous Essence, Rocket Raccoon Flourish, an experience boost, an Egyptian Pyramid Flourish? That's one, that's actually a new one, that's actually an Age of Apocalypse one. Ah, uh, duplicate costume box of 15, so one of the two, like like I said, Iceman, Kitty Pride. Uh, ultimate power upgrade for anybody. So we are, like, that is still another costume count, so we have, we had 8, 9, we're 10, 10 costumes in 25. That's actually a really high drop rate from the boxes so far. Um... 10 and 25. If we get any more, that's actually going to be... I think a 50% 50, a 50 drop rate, it would be glorious. So we need uh, two more. Two more in the four. Come on, guys. Two more in the four. Two more in the four. And give me the two that I want. Give me the two that I want. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've already bought them. They already know. They already know. I already know. They, I don't already know what's inside the boxes. But the actual, like... The, the numbers have already been ruled. So I'm, I'm playing to nobody here other than you guys. So, come on. Two more costumes in the four. Two more in the four. Two in the four. Four Marvelous Essence, lightweight armor plate, currency boost, 
20 Relics of Asgard, 25 Experienced Splinters, and 300 Legendary Marks. There's another Legendary item right there. Um, that's actually a very utilitarian box. Uh, very utilitarian. Yeah, I can't get angry at a box that's very utilitarian. There's, like, none really to say about that, other than, like, shit, that's useful. But, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. We've got three more boxes left. That was, like, that was a gimme box. That's okay. I'm okay with a gimme box. We've got three more left. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, a ten Relics of Subterranea, a large character experience token for Beast, Moon Knight Cheer, and two Shield Supply Boosts. That's our two gimmies, guys. Both of these next two boxes have to have cards on them to actually, like, to, to give, give the 50% score that I want. I mean, 36 ain't bad, but... Or, sorry, 46 ain't bad, but 50% would be good. It would be real good. Um... Yeah, more um, uh, the, more cosmetics. I'm, I'm worried about the cosmetics actually interfering because of that, at that tier, that could have been a Colossus or a Jean Grey Age of Apocalypse costume. Not happy with that. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, ten Relics of Subterranea, a Shield Supply Boost, an Egyptian Sand Flourish, and a Duplicate Costume Bonus Essence 30. Oh, no! Another, it, was a, it was actually a, one of the Nightcrawlers that we got in that too. Oh man, so it's the right tier but the wrong costume. <sighs> Shit, so we got 11, 11 drops so far, but one box left. Can we get the 50%? I'm, I'm essentially it was like 40, 46%, 40, because it would be actually like 13 boxes would actually put you over the 50. So, um, hmm. Do we get one more? Do we get one more? Four Marvelous Essences, Lightweight Armor Plate, Loaded Credit Chest for 10,000. That's not too bad. Uh, combination Boost, two Experience Boosts, and Jean Grey Age of Apocalypse Costume. Yes! Uh, admittedly, that looks kind of crap, <laughs> but it's the costume I wanted. Um, Alright, admittedly, Colossus has got a cool costume, but out of the, if I was going to get one of the two of them, I wanted this one. So yeah, Jean Grey, Age of Apocalypse costume. Jean Grey was the first mutant to join Magneto's X-Men against Apocalypse besides his own children. She served as the team's sole telepath and eventually married to this timeline's Wolverine, also known as Weapon X. Um, yeah, the costume looks a bit... It looks, it looks very, very latexy. We never always thought it to be more leather, the costume. Leather or spandex. Very latexy. But uh, I'm liking it. I still like the short... I like the short jacket. I love the short hair. The tattoo looks cool. I mean, she wears it better than Mike Tyson. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Ah, oh, the last box got the costume that I really wanted in the end up. All right. And that was actually, that was a really good box. Otherwise, four Marvelous Essence, Lightweight Armor Plate, Loaded Credit Chest, uh, Combination Boost, two Experience Boosts. Love getting boosts. That was actually a lot of boosts throughout that entire pack of 25. And a really good drop rate. So 12 costumes. So literally, uh, almost a one and two drop rate currently for the costumes. That was that, that was a tour de force. I'm actually really surprised. They, after the defenders crit, uh, up, not upsetting me, but actually kind of like being as bad as it was. I think these event crits should have a shoved up uh, drop rate rather than the loot boxes. We haven't done, we haven't done the loot boxes in a while, but now that they've actually changed the contents of the loot box, I'm going to be doing a stack of twenty five of those as well at some point very soon. But I thought this is the one that needs to be done because of the costume you're in it. Well, I've oh God, I need to take a look at these costumes actually. Like that's I need to see them. I, I I need to see my heroes in those costumes. All right, let's let's jump jump in here and take a quick look. So, uh, okay, who did we get? Who did we get? Who did we get? Uh, we didn't get Storm. We did get Iceman. So let's take a quick look at him. Toggle him into his Age of Apocalypse costume. Hey, Bobby! Bobby, can you can, can you ice Bobby? Can you ice? <laughs> but yeah, we jump in the roster and you can actually still see him there looking. Oh, dude, this is the fact that he, it's the the moistlessness. This is like he just Bobby went silent. <laughs> uh, Bobby don't say no words no more. <laughs> but but Bobby Boucher. Um, yes. So next one is of course uh, we we missed out on Colossus. That that's the Colossus costume I would I wanted to see. Although, admittedly, it looks a bit weird with that really... Because <laughs> I'm thinking the material should have actually been loose on him, but it's actually like a skin painted over the top. But I do love the shoulder pauldron and the head mask. It, it's like as if Daredevil was made of metal. <laughs> so that's about my, version of, about my imagination of him would be. Psylocke in her war costume. Oh, dude, the Machines of War. Uh, yes, yes, yes. 
I love that look. It looks so good. Damn, bitch, you look terrifying. You look so terrifying. Um, yeah, she looks really good. Uh, actually, I really like that costume. Right, we're going to jump into Jean Grey, and we're, of course, going to take a look at her Age of Apocalypse costume first. Oh, ba oh no. No, that really doesn't look great. I thought the, I thought the 1990s costumes looked a bit weird, but they're very cartoony, but that made sense because of them being actually cartoony. But that... Uh, I re I'm really not too sure about that costume. Is that she looks cool whenever the with the flame effect on her? Well, wow, that uh, the the costume looks really super simple. That's that's what the problem with it is. It, it looks really underdone, and the skin looks a little bit odd. Hmm, not too sure. Uh, as much as I wanted that costume, I'm really not too sure about it. Damn, <laughs> that girl be glowing. Oh yeah, no, Jean in that costume, that looks fucking terrifying, actually. Oh, the way, because her Phoenix effect is different as well, isn't it? The Phoenix wings just look more fire-like than they actually did there. It looked a little bit more ethereal on the um, other version of her. And the, the gold on her costume, man, that looks like that. I actually like the look at the design of that. That's pretty cool. So, uh, who else do we have? We had Nightcrawler. I'll check out his, two. Ooh! Ooh! I did not know about this costume, a House of N costume. Nice, he just looks like a, he looks like a city guard. So they've actually dropped more costumes in without us even knowing. Cheek of them. The cheek of them! I know where all my money's being spent soon. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot he had the frizzy hair to go with it as well. Let's take a look at his cloak costume. Oh, <laughs> it's worth it for the cape. Worth it for the cape. No capes! <laughs> All right, we'll jump back onto Bobby. Oh, we'll be oh, sorry, um, to um, Kurt in a second. Uh, yeah, th uh, that's the thing; it doesn't show us. Uh, it doesn't show us swords whenever he's kept, kept, and then it shows swords whenever he's not kept. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Aha! Golden Tag. Golden Tag. Yeah, it's fair play to you. Uh, I like. I like the character. I like the design. I actually like the look. He looks so good. <laughs> I know, it's just the, the, the actual, like, the, the longer hair actually looks really good on Kurt. Um, yeah. I can't remember, is that the crimson, that was the crimson mark that Psylocke had at one point, isn't it, on his face? Or is that, was that a similar thing? Did they actually start with Nightcrawler in Age of Apocalypse? I don't remember. But yeah, that was, um, that was all the things. There's a lot more stuff to look at, of course, with this update. 1.4 has a bunch of things that we need to cover. But, um, I thought this was actually the best first look that we could give. Uh, going through the crates, seeing all the stuff inside. There's so much more to actually look at. Uh, I will be back again with another 25 crates for the new crates, the new Ordinary Marvelous Loot crates. And I will also be covering the Age of Apocalypse event very, very soon on the channel. Just thought this was the most important one. See whether or not people wanted to, people want to know before they actually buy. And I have to say, 12 out of 25. And getting all but three of the costumes... Two of the the enhanced ones and one of the non-enhanced ones. That's all I'm missing from the actual crates. That was kind of impressive. So twelve drops, uh, twelve drops, four bone, yeah, twelve drops and four duplicates. No, five duplicates. So yeah, that was actually not too bad at all. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you actually enjoyed watching the loot crates and you enjoy watching stuff here in the channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe or the follow or the bell or whatever it is mattering on whatever source you happen to find this on. And um, if you actually are watching this on YouTube. There'll be a button up there that yeah, I wish you would hit, because that actually means I can do more stuff here in the channel. I can do more interesting stuff. I can actually afford games, uh, rather than have to go begging and pleading from people. Um, or borrowing, in a lot of cases. Uh, rentals. Damn useful. Uh, this is actually the playlist of the loot boxes we've done previously, all the unboxing stuff that we've ever done on the channel. Over in the far side will be the most recent video. Uh, probably this for a while, or until tomorrow morning. And over there will actually be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. It'll actually pick out a video for you, Based on your taste and interest. And if you're actually watching one of these, it's probably going to be one of the other unboxings. But, uh, or my playthroughs of Marvel Hero Omega. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed yourselves, please do come back again. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.